Hello, my beautiful friend, Marissa Morrison here. In this video, I am going to give you a behind the scenes look at how we created epic imagery at the one and only Chateau de Viette. During this one day editorial, we shot two editorials. And that was quite the rush and the thrill, but we made it happen. One of the editorials is focused in high fashion and the other editorial is focused in a bridal editorial. And so you are really in for a treat as you are going to get an insider's look at what it takes to create this imagery. If you missed it, I'd like to encourage you to click the link wherever it is, and join us on our vlog where we reveal the four day trip where we went to France and created three incredible editorials. This is an inside look at one of those editorials, but oh my gosh, it was such a wild ride with low sleep, high energy and motivation and inspiration. And it certainly will inspire you at what is truly possible when you set your mind to your dreams. Now, I wanna encourage you also, if you are not following us and subscribe to our channel, what are you doing? Because if you love photography and if you wanna build a thriving business, we are going to be guiding you through that here on this channel. I hope you enjoy this inside look at our incredible, incredible editorial at Chateau de Viette. We are at Chateau de Viette and we are getting ready to shoot this beautiful place. Um, we're shooting scenery. Just trying to get as many shots as we can. We're really tight on the schedule. I'm about to start with the models. Um, but right now we're just focusing on scenery. you know what I'm thinking. You read my mind. <laughs> Let's see it kind of like um like lean in. I'm, I'm scared of the makeup so yeah. I'm not doing this thing. Okay maybe um, yes. Yes beautiful. That is beautiful. Bring your face a little more this way with the light. Yes. One, two and three. All right, so I just wanna say this photo is probably one of my most loved photos in my career. I absolutely love the composition, the textures throughout the image, and the overall look and feel of this photograph. It is also a photograph that has stood the test of time, and this entire shoot has, and I think that's something important to consider when you are creating your own editorials, is thinking about, is this something that's trendy, or is this something that I am going to be able to include in my portfolio for the next decade? And if the answer is yes, then you are on the right page. All right, now in this editorial, I want to encourage you to watch, if you were paying close attention, how I am using my body to find the right composition, use of light, and background. When you show up, especially for bridal prep, you usually have a room with a source of light, maybe one wall with windows or multiple walls with windows if you're lucky, and you really want to consider what is going to create the best source of light and background that is going to align with your vision. And so as you are watching and will continue to see, I am constantly considering where should I stand? What is going to be the best background? And how can I guide my client into the pose? Now in this video here, we're working with models. So I'm able to be more directive. There is not as much engagement and carrying the subject emotion through to the pose as ne needed during working with your clients. When you're working with models, it is a much different experience. So pay attention to how I'm using light, shifting my body to manipulate the background, and let's keep seeing how the magic unfolds. Rotate just slightly. Yes. Yes, beautiful. One, two, and three. I mean, you kind of wrap your arms, like hold yourself. Yes. Oh, just like that, gorgeous. One, two, and three. 
things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So this is kind of like one, one arm out, one kind of like this. Like one, like real dramatic, like one like this. And then one like this. Yes. You got it. There you go. Okay, hang tight. Let me check my grading right here. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. 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 And you can stand flat for this one. And right now I'm just shooting just to you. Beautiful. One, two, and three. One, two, and three. Beautiful. Okay, let me back up. One, two. Right leg? Yes. One, two, and three. Really like show me your neck. Like, really dramatic. Oh yeah. Beautiful. And then look right here. You bring your chin down now. Beautiful. Oh. <laughs> look at me like direct. Like just straight on. Ooh, yes. Um, she, now she said that he's ready too when you're ready. One, two, and three. So let's take a moment to talk about what I'm seeing through the lens. When it comes to working with other photographers, one question that I always receive is how are you posing your subjects? How do you come up with these creative, innovative ideas of how to work with your subjects to create a really natural look and feel, especially whenever it comes to real clients here. Again, we're working with models. And one thing that I want to encourage you is it is important to envision the shoot well in advance. It is important to have a mood board and to spend time really looking at imagery that inspires you and that aligns with the vision that you're going for. But after doing so, I want to encourage you to let go and to really connect with your inner artist and the voice within, because it will guide you. You know, when you are caught up in making it perfect, you are disconnected from the moment and the subject. And so by really zoning into the moment, zoning into the subject, paying close attention to the body language and being able to give guidance for subtle shifts, whether it's a simple turn this way or looking down or bringing the chin up, especially whenever you're working with models, you have ultimate control. They are looking for your direction and they thrive on knowing that they're doing exactly what you are going for. And so really and truly when it comes to working with your subjects and getting the right look and feel that of a a pose that looks natural and really compelling, you want to feel it. Now, in the beginning, this is something that might not come as naturally, but as you continue, continue to push for this feeling and really connecting with the subjects, you will begin to define what feels right and what doesn't. It's just like riding a bike. You have to put in the work, the time and experience to become the expert at this. But I want to encourage you at it because when you become free of you know, whether you're bringing your phone with you on sessions and constantly looking at poses going in your car, I used to do that, or looking at that mood board and like obsessing of getting just the right pose, you're really breaking the stream of creativity that you are connected to. And so make sure that you are challenging yourself to think of different compositions, full body, mid body, the tight shots in every pose that you do so that you are able to create a full story. Now, one other thing to note in this is you're going to hear a timer go off here in just a second. And one thing that really made this day possible, because as I shared, this is two editorials in one day is having a timeline. And if you're like me and you are a creative mind and th thrive on creating beautiful one-of-a-kind works of art, then you are absolutely going to lose track of time. You are going to be so zoned in that you are just in the moment, right? And so with editorials, not with clients, do not use a timer with clients. It will stress them out. But with models, you have the opportunity to use a timer to help you stay on track when the time is tight because nothing causes a lack of clarity and creativity than being rushed and out of time. 
So having a solid schedule and a timer if necessary to keep you on track is going to be absolutely vital. All right, let's get back to the inspiration at hand. Valentine, can you look this way for me? And then let me help you look this way. One, two, and three. Beautiful. And let me have you just look at his lips. Me? Yeah. One, two, and three. Beautiful. Stay like this. Oh, you're fine. You. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're good. Look down at Valentine. No, you're fine. You can go. You can go yes. up there. Yes, yes, yes. One, two, one, two. Can you see this? Yes. Beautiful. One, two, and three. Rotate towards me just a smidge, like, yes. And then look out, yes. Oh, Cindy, amazing. <laughs> Carrie, I can hear her walking. I'm over here. Well, I just, I was waiting for you and I just oh, had beautiful. to. You got it, girl. I had to. I just, I knew that I wanted something in this room, in this space right here. This mm -hmm. house, this lit, this should do. I shot some of her kind Nobody of Nobody has in. done this color thing well here. I haven't no, seen it. No, no. I'm gonna like, use your gown. And my four day look of, this is mm -hmm. what I look like. Okay, my dear, let's put your hands in the middle. Uh, can you put your hands together and I'm gonna. Okay, guys, I'm getting the behind the scenes so we can show all of this. <laughs> what it takes. <laughs> to get this crazy shot. How many people does it take? She's supposed to be like billowing out of flower flat clouds, you know? Does it look like that? Yes. Yay. <laughs>
that's a wrap. I hope that you enjoyed watching the behind the scenes look at the one day, two editorials that we created at Chateau de Viette. And hey, wherever you are in your business, creating epic imagery that aligns with your vision, that is unique, that is specific to your heart, your vision is going to increase your ability to convert ideal clients, to stand out in the industry, and to build your own creativity. You know, when you're serving a client, you're so focused on what they want and pleasing them and not missing a moment. But whenever you have time to pause and to really create something that is for you, you connect more with your own artistry. You connect with what actually inspires you and these skills that you develop during these editorials, you then can bring back to serving your clients and overall increasing and improving the quality of your client's experience, which therefore returns in client referrals and their fulfillment and which will then increase profits because the value that you offer has increased. It all around is a worthy investment. And so I hope that you enjoyed this journey and the behind the scenes look. And again, I want to remind you, if you aren't, be sure to subscribe. We have so much more coming your way in terms of behind the scenes, advice and guidance on building a thriving business, living a full, joyful life, making sure that your business supports the vision you have for your life. All right, my friend, this is it for now. I have enjoyed this time with you. I adore you. I believe in your dreams. And now it's your turn to believe in your own. I'll see you next time.